today I'm going to make some stuffed pepper soup because honestly it's a lot quicker and easier to make stuffed pepper soup than it is to actually stuff the peppers. And myself, my husband, and some other people I've talked to said that they actually prefer the soup over stuffing the peppers because somehow I think cutting up, chopping them up fine, and cooking them with your rice and tomato sauce and so forth seems to take away some of that bitterness from green peppers. So um, sometimes I have a variety of different peppers in the garden, but this year I only did green peppers. Uh, along with some of my other ones that I'm going to can to make pepper sauce and uh, we do some banana peppers and stuff too but today just making some quick stuffed pepper soup some I'll put in the freezer because we have an abundance of tomatoes and I haven't had time yet to make my tomato sauce and can that so we're going to use up some peppers today so here we go of ground beef. Just gonna brown that and then drain it. I chopped up one large sweet yellow onion and I sauteed that until they were lightly browned and a little caramelized. Then I started cutting up my tomatoes. I've already done some and put them in this, uh, it's a ninja food processor. <laughs> I love this thing. Um, but anyway, I had some cherry tomatoes and then um, just a little variety of some other things. And, you know, if you have some tomatoes that you know, every once in a while you get some with some spots, you can cut those spots out. There's nothing wrong with the rest of the tomato and there's no use in wasting it. And especially when you're going to be putting it in here and pureeing it, no uh, sense in wasting that. And then this is the amount of green peppers I've got. And I also picked some fresh parsley from the garden as well. So I'm going to keep whirring these up and then add them to my onions and when this ground beef is done getting all browned I will drain it and add it to the pan or pot I should say <laughs> so I chopped up those tomatoes that I had I've already got most of them in here and I like I said I just love this little food processor the ninja So this recipe called for a can of sauce, like a large can of sauce. And I would normally put in one of our own. This is from last year's canning. But now that I've gotten this much sauce, because I've already added two full ones of these uh, from our fresh tomatoes, I don't even think I'm going to need to use my jarred sauce from last year. But I am going to put in one can, large can of um, diced tomatoes. So we're going it to turned out I needed to switch to a bigger pot because <laughs> I wasn't going to have room to put in my rice and um, the peppers and such. So switch to a bigger stock pot. And I'm going to add my one can of diced tomatoes. I'll give that a stir. Find my spoon. And now I'm going to chop up all of my green peppers using my ninja again. So I basically obviously washed the peppers and then cut them in half and took the stem out and the seeds that are inside. And then I just gave them like a real rough large chop because you don't need to get crazy with it since I'm going to put them in that ninja chopper. I'm not going to whir these up obviously as much as I would the tomatoes, um, you know, to make a sauce out of it. I just want to get them to like a little medium fine kind of chop. So I put some in there and I put this little top on. Been a little finer than what I wanted. I think the next one I'll do a little rougher. Put that in 
into my pot. Some more. Load her up. So I think the trick is with the peppers, when you want to get just like a fine to medium chop, is only fill it halfway. Because if you fill it to the top, when you have to keep shaking it to get it the top large pieces to go down into the chopper, everything at the bottom is getting word really fine. And I don't want that. I want like a fine medium chop to the whole thing. So I'm just gonna fill this halfway. That's what we want. Okay, see, now we've got a nice fine to medium chop. So I'll just do one more of those and then our peppers will be done. Okay, get all our peppers in there now. And next, I'm going to add in a large package of beef stock. You can use beef bouillon too if you want. I prefer stock. This is a 32 ounce beef broth stock. All right, I know that looks kind of soupy, but when you put the rice in, it really does thicken up. It almost becomes more of a green pepper stew than soup. <laughs> but you can always add more bouillon or broth if you want, if you like it a little more soupier. All right, next is gonna come our rice. Okay, I'm going to put in about a cup and a half of the uncooked rice. That's going to cook in the soup. And then you can put anywhere between a quarter cup to a half cup of brown sugar. And if you like yours a little sweeter, I don't. So I'm only putting about a quarter cup in there. And now I'm going to chop up some fresh parsley and add some salt and pepper to taste. And then I let this simmer for about a half an hour and it's done. <music> Last but not least, we add a little salt. That's about a couple teaspoons. And add pepper to taste. And that's it. So I'm gonna let this cook for about a half an hour, put a cover on it, and then I'll give it a taste to see if it needs any more salt or pepper, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good. Mmm, it smells good. It makes me so happy to be able to use up all the stuff in the garden. So it's been simmering for about 15 minutes or so. The rice is nowhere near done. But um, <clears throat> just trying the broth, I think it needed a little something. So I don't know about you if you've ever tried this, but this better than bullion stuff is amazing. Oh, I use this sometimes when I'm having some uh, vocal issues and I just need something warm and salty to sip while I'm singing. It really helps um, my vocal cords. So anyway, this stuff is amazing. So I would put maybe two tablespoons of this in the um, soup, stew, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> stuffed pepper soup. And um, I'm, I'm just betting this is going to make this taste amazing.